Aston Villa versus Wolves drew 0-0 this Saturday morning. This game was a game of missed opportunities. Aston Villa hit the post in the first two minutes. In the hit the post twice in the first 15 minutes. Really had Wolves fans on edge. Me and myself being a Wolves fan, I, it was like 9:30. It was like 9:45 where I'm at. And I was like, whoa, that really woke me up. I was barely waking up. I didn't catch the earlier games, but I was waking up and Aston Villa came out firing, hit the post right away, hit the post again. That really woke me up. I was like, man, this is going to be a long game for the Wolves. But the Wolves steadied the ship. The rest of the first half was kind of dull. In the second half, the Wolves had the best chances. They look like the Wolves typically do in the second half. They speed things up. They take things to the second gear. And they create chances. One of the best chances of the game was Connor Cody having a sitter of a header in the second post. He hits the post. By the second post, he had a sitter. He hits the post, and then the ball falls to size. Size maybe like two meters, maybe a meter away from the goal, and he somehow pushes it over the post. That had me screaming. I was so upset. I could not believe how he missed that chance. Uh, and then Cody found another chance. Maybe like a couple minutes later, uh, William William Jose had a bad shot. It looked like a pass, but it, in my opinion, it was a shot that he just didn't hit it right. It falls to Connor Cody, one-on-one -on -one against the keeper. He does a nice turn to position himself, but he can't place the ball away from the keeper. And uh, Martinez gets a phenomenal save in front of goal. Uh, Martinez is having one of the best seasons of his career. Probably the best, definitely the best season of his career. A great signing for Aston Villa. But Connor Cody should have finished one of those two chances. And the Wolves would have won 1-0. Would have won and they would have moved up the table. And there would have been some talks of Wolves maybe challenging for Europa in the last 10 games. But both teams missed their opportunities. Especially Wolves. I think Wolves had the most clear chances. And another, another draw for the Wolves. Another game where they struggled to score goals. Pedro Neto continues to be the best player for the Wolves. He's a real menace going forward. A lot of times it was just Neto with no one helping him out. Neto had just had to figure it out. There was times where he just took on players with his pace um, or with the step over. Pedro Neto just is the most dangerous player for the Wolves. I love what I'm seeing from him this season. He's taking that next step. I hope he continues to take strides in his game and when Raul Jimenez comes back with this Pedro Neto, I'm excited to see if they're able to build a real connection, kind of like the one that Jota and Raul Jimenez had. But I think this one has the potential to be even better. As far as William Jose, he still hasn't scored since he uh, signed with us on loan. Um, he continues to struggle to get chances. I don't think that's all on him. I, I would like to see more movement off the ball. Sometimes when I'm watching the game, he feels a little stagnant. He feels like he's very comfortable with just uh, bodying up with the defender and just being physical with them and not really moving off the ball. But I can't put the, all the blame on him. Um, like like the announcers sometimes point out, there's not a lot of chances that he gets. There's not a lot of service into the goal. There's not a lot of through balls put onto him where he, he has a real chance to get a shot on goal. Even if Lewandowski was with us, I feel like obviously he's a great player. He would score his goals, but he would struggle to score just because the Wolves as a whole really struggled to get their number nine involved. Um, I'm curious to see how things change once Raul Jimenez comes in, if he's the spark that they need. Raul Jimenez is great at playing with his feet, so he creates chances by himself just by having the ball. But now the Wolves have 10 games left. They're eight points behind seventh place, um, and the other teams have one game in hand, so that potentially could be more. Um, Europa for next year, after having a great um, February, the, um, March hasn't been that great for the Wolves to start. There's still a lot of games left in March, but um, after these last few results, it just looks like Euro Europa is not going to be a possibility. And I had already came to that. I had already uh, accepted that reality. Like in January, when we were doing terrible, I had already accepted that Europa was probably a pipe dream. But after having a real strong um, February, I thought maybe there was an outside chance that the Wolves could sneak in into one of those European spots. But now it, it, that possibility seems to be fizzling out. I just hope uh, the Wolves finish this season 
with uh with no injuries, we're able to get Jimenez some playing time, get him back into the team, get him back to scoring goals. We retool in the off season. Um, we figure out what we're doing with our midfield because Moutinho had a pretty lackluster game today. There was a couple of chances where he could have played either Neto or somebody out wide, and he had some bad passes, uncharacteristic of him. Even the announcers were saying that's not really a Moutinho pass. But, I mean, I feel like it's becoming more and more um, common for him to make small mistakes like that or bad passes or just bad decisions or lose the ball in possession. I love Moutinho. I, 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 I was ecstatic when he signed with the Wolves. I, I mean, he kind of brought that shift of mentality for the Wolves to really be a, a threat in the Premier League when they got promoted. But he is getting up there in age, so it might be time for the Wolves to look for a more dynamic, more box-to-box midfielder. Other than that, the game the game was interesting. I, I enjoyed the game. Aston Villa had the chances. They were without Grealish, so, you know, their best player. I thought the Wolves would have, uh, take advantage of that and get a victory, move up the table. But missed opportunities, like what have been the story of this season, uh, not, not able to create enough chances. And when we do create the chances... We're not able to put them away, but it is what it is. It's been a very disappointing season so far. A lot of injuries, but we move on up the Mighty Wolves. 